Hey guys, Jeff Ford here at Hilton Head Health, and as you as you see, I'm warming up for another Fitness Friday. Okay, today we've got a cardio kick up workout for you. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate using this treadmill and between two strength training moves. Okay, the first move is thrusters. The second move is kettlebell swings. I'm gonna demonstrate all of those in a second, and then I'm gonna actually do the first round of your workout. What you're gonna do is three rounds of this, three rounds for time, and I want you to post your results because it's it's Fitness Friday once again. All right, so as you can see, I've got my five minute warm up in. Go ahead, warm up on that treadmill about five, six minutes. Uh, jumping jacks, whatever have you. Just get that heart rate elevated a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna slowly come off out of my warm up. And all you need today is one, one free weight. Okay, you select the weight, usually about seven and a half um, or less is good for these kettlebell swings. The goal is really, this is more of a cardiovascular workout. Um, but at the same time, you're still going to get some strength training. Okay, good, quick, 12 to 15 minute workout. First move, after you do 60 seconds on the treadmill, 60 seconds at a challenging pace, okay, I want your rate of perceived exertion at about a 6 or 7. Then you're going to hop off after that 60 seconds, and we're going to get into thrusters, okay. So weight are in your heels for this. That's always our safe cue when we're about to do a squat. Knees are behind the toes at all times. Okay, elbows up. Um, depending on flexibility, will, your elbows will fluctuate, so don't worry, just try to keep them out in front as best as possible. And as you squat down, you're going to press that weight up. Okay, so exhaling, pressing that weight straight up to the sky. Alright, so you're going to do 15 of those. Okay, weight is back in those heels, push those hips back. Right after you get done with all 15 of those, reverse that grip. Okay, so you're going to put your palms under the dumbbell. All right. And we're going to get right into kettlebell swings, all right? And as you see, I've got my typical kettlebell gear. Most gyms aren't going to have these, so go ahead and just use the dumbbell. That way you can move through these, these exercises as quick as possible. All right, so for the kettlebell swing, my palms are just loosely kind of grasping this dumbbell here. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width. They kind of bow the toes out a little bit. And you're going to push those hips back again, just like you're in a squat. Okay, get this weight rocking and you're going to toss it up, all right, nice and gradual, okay, so you're going to use that big hip pop to get those arms up there, keep the arms locked out the entire time, all right, so you're going to bang up 15, exhaling as you push that weight up, and really just wait to let the weight drop down, okay, so use your gravity, all right, use the gravity that, that we've been given, all right, so 15 there, 15 thrusters, 60 seconds on the treadmill. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to kick up the intensity with this cardio workout and I'm going to show you the first round, what it should be like, okay? So I'm going to hop back up on our nice wood weight treadmill here. And I'm still at that warm up pace, okay? So I'm going to take a minute, 30 seconds regroup for what's about to go down, okay? And I'm going to enter a speed. As I pick my speed, I want it to be challenging. I want it to be a pace that is going to push me for that 60 seconds, okay? So I'm going to put it right, right at a good challenging pace for myself, hit enter, and we're going to start the 60 second clock, all right? Try to keep your incline at a 5% greater or less. If you really want to challenge yourself, go up on that incline, all right? So 10 seconds in, I'm just pushing hard, all right? Pushing hard. Landing on the balls of my feet as I run. Okay, not trying to strike from the heel. Keeping it going. Woo! Almost 30 seconds down. First round. Going hard. Man, good thing. Good thing there's a Friday in every week, so we get to have these fitness Fridays. So keep pushing, pushing hard. We've got about 20 seconds left. If you're feeling good, go ahead. Increase that pace a little more. You want to be pushing for 60 seconds. It's only a minute. Five, four, three, two, and time. Good. So I'm going to slowly come off and right back to my dumbbell. I'm going to start the thrusters. Elbows up, weight in the heels. One, two, three. Keep breathing. Four, five, Six, seven, 
Eight, yes. Nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, reversing the grip into the kettlebell swings, into my stance, here we go. One, two, big hip hop. Three, whoo, first round, almost done. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, count with me if you want, four, three, two, and time, woo! All right, so that's the first round of your Fitness Friday cardio kickup. What I want you to do, I'm gonna do it myself. Rest for 90 seconds, okay? 90 seconds to two minutes. Really take your recovery period here. This is a form of interval training, okay? After that 90 seconds is up, or two minutes, whatever you choose, hop back on that treadmill, challenge yourself. 60 seconds, 15 thrusters, 15 kettlebell swings. Again, recover, repeat for a third and final round. I want you to post your results, and thanks for tuning in to Fitness Friday. We look forward to seeing you next week.